Hi, you're watching VirtualizedGeeks.com tutorial session on creating nested networking within VMware Fusion 5.0 Professional. With VMware Fusion 5.0, you're now giving the option to have a network editor, which makes Fusion a much better platform for doing virtualization labs. So similar to our video on how to create nested networking within uh, VMware Workstation on the Windows platform, I'll walk you through creating a nested network on uh, the Mac platform using VMware Fusion 5.0 Professional. So with Professional comes a new option, the network editor. If, you're, if you've used v VMware Workstation, you're familiar with the network editor. In order to go to the network editor, we're going to go to VMware Fusion, Preferences, networking or network and as you notice uh, there's uh, this new tab called custom we'll go to unlock to make changes we'll authenticate and then we'll hit on the plus symbol and now we can create a individual network similar to how we did in VMware workstation uh, we're not going to choose NAT because we want this to be a network that's just available to the Mac and other virtual machines. If we look at our Visio, we can see that we need to create three networks. We need to create a VM network to store our images on. We need to create a network for our storage. And then we'll have a network for our management interface. This management network will be the IP address that your Mac uh, networking is attached to. So in our network icon or in our network in our selection of networks we would assign our uh, ESXi server to the share with Mac so that would give this machine a IP on the same network as the Mac and this these devices would be able to get out to the internet so on and so forth. The isolated VM network and a uh, isolated storage network will only be allowed access to the internal uh, host. So we'll continue to go ahead and build the networks. So VMNet2, we can assign to our Windows 7 image. And then we'll go ahead and create a new VMNet, VMNet3. We can now assign that to our storage device. We'll apply the settings. and exit out of the network control panel. And now in this setup, I've already created a NAS device using free NAS. If we go to edit the settings, we can go to the network adapter and select VMNet Actually, we said we'd assign VMNet3 to that device, so we're going to assign VMNet3. And then for our ESXi server, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to assign all three uh, networks to this device. So I already have two network devices. I'm going to add an additional network device. And we're going to assign that to VMNet3. Now when we look at the settings of this device, now we see that we have three network devices. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'm not going to repeat the, I'll let you reference the previous video on VMware Workstation for the detail of actually launching ESXi and configuring ESXi. But it's, at this point, it's no difference. It's just a matter of learning how to use the network editor in VMware Fusion 5.0. Uh, if you have any questions about uh, virtualization, I encourage you to visit virtualizedgeek.com or my YouTube channel, which you're currently on to watch more videos on VMware and other network related technology.